I started when I was about 14 as a little vandal. Yeah, before I knew it, I was breaking into train yards and painting trains and the police were knocking at my parents' house at four o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, there became a point where they were going to send me to prison the next time they caught me painting. We went out to paint these trains. Uh, I was with two mates and I managed to escape and uh, my two friends got caught. One of them got like six months and the other one got like six weeks or something in prison and I was like, I don't really want to go to prison for graffiti. But I didn't want to stop painting so it was around then that I kind of made a conscious decision to kind of move into the street art world, which is kind of what I did. I've been asked to make a poster for Don't Panic, so rather than draw it in Illustrator or montage it up in Photoshop, which I imagine a lot of people do, that's not my preferred method. I prefer to physically make it and give them a piece of paper and say, there's your poster. Because the thing is, if I'd done this on computer, then I wouldn't have got all these little fuzzy yellow lines. The fact that I've actually hand cut these letters means the S's are different and the E's are different. And that's kind of what I like. How did I come about doing the shutters? Uh, it was down Kingsland Road and there were four shutters next to each other and I was going to paint uh, a letter on each shutter and spell out my name, I'm... There's probably 200 letters that I've painted. Uh, some of them have been cleaned off. Some of them have been kind of turned into new shops and new shops generally want new shutters. And uh, yeah, I've done them in London and Newcastle and Brighton and Hastings and Dublin and Stockholm and Paris and Denmark and some weird place in Germany, and New York, Los Angeles, and Denver, and Tokyo, and Osaka, and probably other places. So I used to work with Mr. Banksy for, I don't know, a, f a while, a few, quite a few years. Weirdly, uh, with the whole Team Robbo, Team Banksy graffiti thing <laughs> that's kind of going on at the moment. It was uh, mine and my old girlfriend's birthday. I think I was chatting with Banksy and Robbo came over and they were like, what do you write, what do you write, what do you write? And Robbo said Robbo and Banksy was like, never heard of you. <laughs> And that was, that was, yeah, the, their first meeting. Yeah, I did them. It was uh, my tag before I wrote Ein. And uh, it was what I used to write on the street. Doing something that you're not allowed to do and getting away with it. Yeah, we can't, we, you know, we built up relationships with the police that were trying to catch us. We'd send them postcards when we were traveling. <laughs> Basically, they, 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 they photograph everything that you do, so they build up a file on your name. So if you write Dave, everything that appears on London Underground or British Rail property or trains, they'll photograph it and they'll put it in the Dave file. And they might know that I'm Dave, but they have to prove it. And the way to prove it is to either catch me doing it or come around my house and, you know, find photographs of Dave paintings or find an outline of a Dave piece. You know, what we would do is we would change our name. So they would have to open up a new file. And even though the style was quite similar, 
they wouldn't be able to prove that it was us or me, but they would know it. There's a there's a total ego thing, you know. It's you know why it's why young men kind of excel at it because they're just ego mad little loonies, you know. Uh, ride that train line and you'll see my name at every station all along there or you know when you paint a train you know you'd wait at the station in the morning and you'd be waiting for your train when you stop writing graffiti that's it you're over you know you are no more you know you think how many of those stupid fucking s tags that I did fucking Thousands, hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands. God, they were everywhere. And there's like none, all gone. <laughs> you know, going back to the thing about ego, you know, it is kind of all about ego, but in a kind of, in a bit of a kind of upside down kind of way.